welcome to the after market analysis by niftynight.com and i am vinay so before i get started with the video i have a small announcement to make so tomorrow at 7 pm i will be conducting a free option trading webinar so if you are interested in learning more about uh, trading options then click on the link which is given in the description below and make sure you attend that without fail okay so i will be talking about some of the strategies which i use regularly and the seats are limited so make sure you register and attend without fail coming to the market today is a historic day as we have crossed 18000 nobody even thought in their dreams that after covid markets would recover in such a high speed i was considering 15000 was the uh, resistance then it went to 16000 then 17000 then 18000 so from 17000 to 18000 market has uh, captured that 1000 points in less than 45 days so you can imagine the ferocity with which the buying is happening and the entire buying is from the retailers okay the institutional participation was very less you can see how the uh, retailers are buying every dip that is happening in the market and look at today today despite reliance and it sector in the being in red nifty managed to be in the green okay so as you all know the major contribution were banks metals real estate aviation now the consumer driven stocks are coming back and they are coming back in a very big way so they conducted a survey where they spoke to people who are in selling business so they are telling that the retail spending over the weekends have been drastic so people are just spending money like water so even the traders did not expect such huge response from uh, uh, sellers or by retail people uh, on on the weekends and now you know that we are in the festival season and there are discounts all around us so people had money accumulated with them for a long time so they had not been spending due to covid and other reasons and now they have become free birds and they are spending like in there in uh, i saw some of the reports where they spoke to some tour guides in uh, leh ladakh kashmir etc so everyone is telling that all tourist places are overcrowded okay so now if you ask me it's better not to go for any tours for next year so let all the people who are really desperate go and visit each and everything then probably once the crowd is uh, reduces then probably you can go and visit any of the tours okay so finally air india is now a part of tatas so it has gone back to its roots so i hope now the aviation sector will pick up frankly i am slightly bullish on aviation sector okay why because aviation sector is not been a good sector till now okay till now it has been a loss making sector okay but now the as i told you the revenge spending by retailers is boosting aviation industry and there are a lot of new players now tata will be managing air india and as you all know rakesh junjunwala is coming out with his own airlines so i somewhat feel that aviation sector is the next sector where you should be investing so i will be probably investing in some of the aviation uh, stocks like air india uh, not air india sorry indigo airlines spice jet etc so i will not be deploying huge money in that but yes probably 50000 in each of, in each of these shares okay and probably after that i may hedge those uh, investment in options okay so that is the plan for now again it's not yet concrete once it is concrete i will definitely let you guys know
Today, the IT sector did not perform because of TCS results. There was a huge expectation from TCS uh, earnings, which TCS could not meet. So, TCS opened with a gap down of 6%. I had a short strategy trade which I had taken at the money on Friday. But today, when, when once there was a gap down of 5-6%, the trade was in slight danger and I had to do some adjustments. So, I took an average trade on the straddle which I had. So, for now, it is in a pretty good spot provided there is no major movement in TCS in this month. But we have other IT companies coming out with their results. So, there can be a movement in TCS as well. So, if things go uh, turn bad, then probably I may have to put some stop loss and exit. I had taken a trade even in my mind trade. Uh, that is also in a pretty uh, good spot at the moment. In fact, I am sitting in a very minor loss, which I am pretty confident that I will be getting profit in that. So, this was the update which I had on my stock options. And as you all know, I was expecting market to fall for a, for a long time. But markets don't seem to fall uh, at all. So, investing now is slightly difficult because market is just going in one direction. So, you never know when the correction will come. And we are rallying without even having a correction. How long do you think can this continue? Yes, I don't know. Now, Nifty can go to 20,000, 25,000 also like this. But the risk reward is not bright on the long side. But saying that if markets rally like this, you will not even get the confidence to short the markets as well. Right? So, as I told you, I keep executing the put ratio, uh, put back spread in my account. And once Nifty starts rallying, I do adjustment and come out with decent profit. So, I have showed you about the strategy which I took and the adjustment what I have done also. So, now it is in a pretty decent profit. So, now I'm, I already am sitting with a profit of more than 2%. So, if I hold this till expiry, probably the profit will be around 3% uh, or more than that uh, if I do any adjustment. Okay. Again, adjustment, you don't do adjustment only when you are in loss. It to, in order to increase your profit also, we do some kind of adjustments. Okay. So, now let me just tell you what is adjustment and trading by taking the right view. Okay. So, now let's say there are two batsmen in a cricket. So, in one over, you need 12 runs. So, the batsman one, uh, first batsman, let's say Virat Kohli. So, what he will do, every ball he will take 2-2 two, two runs and by the end of 1 over he will have 12 runs and he will win the match. So, this is not very thrilling. Yes, it was a decent game, he scored and he won. Now, there is another batsman, let us say Dhoni. So, even now it is the same condition where you will have 1 over 12 runs required. So, what Dhoni will do, he will defend 4 balls. And in last two balls, he will hit two sixes and win the match. Okay. So, adjustment is like Dhoni. Whereas, taking a right view and trading correctly and coming out perfect trade is Virat Kohli. Okay. In both the cases, you will win. But the thrill in Dhoni's style of batting is slightly more. And sometimes the profit will also slightly increase when you play in by doing adjustment. But uh, I don't prefer, I in fact, I'll be very happy if I don't get an opportunity to do adjustment and so on. Okay. I just want to play uh, slowly and make sure I win, come out with decent profit. Right. I hope you guys like the video. Do like and subscribe to my channel so that you can learn more about trading and investment. Thank you guys.